So, Jens, we got our second mechanical prototype, and I think we should tell people what the difference is. There's an electronic prototype, which is actually where you can see the electronics work, and then we have our mechanical teams who do the mechanical prototype, which is just what we call the, the case, they would call mm -hmm. it. Yeah, soon we'll see the electronic one. That's the one where we work out all the, the electronic bugs, make sure all the parts work together. Menus, all that kind of jazz. Yeah, yeah. this is you know for sizing and you know getting the ergonomics all set and kind of honing in the look of it. This is a model, so you know, understand that uh, a little bit of this might be a little shaky, but it's, it's good enough for us to kind of figure out our form and function, how we're going to be using it. Right. So now you're demonstrating the whole flip concept. The idea is, is that you know, our, the unit is more based on like a traditional ENG style viewfinder where you can look through and see a magnified image and then flip it up. And you know, there are lots of times when you, that magnified thing is not what you want to see. Mm -hmm. And the case in point is when I'm the director here and I go here, oh, yeah. turn around, I want to see the image. You don't want the guy starting to adjust your diopter. I always found that I like to flip it up to, you know, go through the menus instead of have to, you know, peer through the hole. Or more importantly, if you've got to drop down and do a low mode shot, you've got to flip that up so you can run along with it. You're right. not always having your eye in a magnifier. So let's talk about this shoulder pad a little bit. Yeah. You know, this is just a mock-up again. We're, we're designing a whole new shoulder pad system here. Look at how high we're coming up off these, this rod now. You're coming up about four inches and we still, uh, in our eventual one, we're going to come up another inch. The idea is so that the EVF is above the camera. Exactly. Now if you think of the ENG cameras or even some of those film cameras like we showed in our earlier episode, they, they had the arch here so that your shoulder was up higher. Uh, matched your eye better to the to the viewfinder and if you notice those viewfinders are pretty damn close to the camera right. which is probably the perfect place because that way now my head is aiming pretty much straight forward you know I, I'm not cocking my head like this to view it like like might happen with other viewfinders no um, that's a huge problem we call that dog tracking when we're yeah. designing this stuff well when your body gets contorted you're operating like this yeah that's, you know that's or wrong. like this what right. we're doing is we're trying to get it in the most comfortable perfect position. Well, new change, let's turn around here and show them, you know, a lot of people were talking and I kind of agreed with them. We knew about it. It's not so easy to figure out where to put these jacks. I mean, how many conversations have we had? No, it's not as simple as just put them there, just put them there. They have to be separate from the power on the board. They can't interfere with that. There's space issues. Right. In order to keep it uh, in the right place on such a small platform, uh, it has to be very carefully laid out. You know, you got to be careful when you're coming out this side that you're not getting in you know, all your lens and everything with the cables. Uh, and coming out the back is not a good idea. I know lots of people have been sending us emails and going on sites and saying, why don't you come out the back? Well, because it can interfere with some of the things that you have in front, especially if you're tilting it down. Exactly. But well, let me just show yeah. the camera that, see, when I have my eye in here, obviously a lot of operators operate with this eye open, and I need to be able to see right past this, this thing here. So by not having the cables coming out the side, helps tremendously here. Yeah. I like how you and Bob have, have condensed this monitor and made it a little taller, which is nice because it'll, it'll help us with the height issues and it helps you with the locking down of the flip up feature. I like how you've made some design changes to it. Overall, it's a little smaller than our first prototype, particularly narrower. Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's key. It's looking good. So our next video, we're going to have our electronic prototype. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. And hopefully even our standard mount and maybe even a shoulder pad. Oh, excellent. Okay, see you then.